Hi my loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. So I'm going to do a timeless collective reading. This is for all signs. Remember energy and time are both fluid. So this could be past, present or future. He could be a she, she could be a he. Okay, feel free to reverse the roles but only take the messages that resonate with you. All right, you guys. Hope everyone is well. I have this deck. Um, it's called the Ascending Life Oracle. I got this on Etsy, you guys. I'm really trying to <laughs> use more of the decks that I have. I have so many, but I always tend to kind of connect with my decks and I don't switch them out. But this is an Oracle deck, so. Let's just see what comes out. Okay, so the bottom of the deck we have learning. Okay, so you could be feeling tested in a situation. Um, you could be researching something right now, trying to learn something new, searching for some type of knowledge. Some of you could be digging deeper in your, um, trying to learn more about spirituality. Because I will say that um, a few weeks ago, I really talked about ascension, like ascension flu symptoms, as people call it. And I feel like the energy has been so intense, especially with this new moon in Sagittarius recently that came right after the eclipse energy. Um, it seems like everyone is receiving like these major, major upgrades. You're getting a lot of downloads. A lot of people are becoming much more awakened and aware and going through like these, this period of... Um, enlightenment like a lot of people's third eye is opening or um the crown chakra is opening wide open there's you know blockages being removed from the heart chakra and these things tend to push you into a a, a place where you you may want to kind of go into hermit mode um doing a bit of soul searching but it also calls for a lot of introspection where you also will feel the strong desire to want to learn more. You may want to research things about spirituality. You may find yourself looking at a lot of signs, symbols and synchronicities and, you know, learning more about numerology and angel numbers or, you know, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, just things like that. Um, so if, if you are feeling um, drawn to do those things. I think you should totally go go for it. Also, of course, we are um, getting close to the end of the year. So if you're also thinking about going back to school or getting some type of certification, researching things to start um, a business or whatever it is, I think that right now is just a really good time for you to um, start, like I said, researching to develop yourself or some type of business um, or just any type of endeavor that you may be interested in. Some of you guys I'm getting to, you may be sprucing up your resume. You could be just, I'm, you, you may just really be getting in the flow right now of trying to learn, to grow, evolve, to develop. Um, and that does require a bit of research and study. All right. Okay. Teamwork. Okay. And another card and crossroads. So yeah. Um, <laughs> the crossroads here also I'm hearing meet me at the crossroads the with the crossroads here this also could be you going through like a spiritual initiation here or like I said um, everything for you is not always spiritual I know but for some of you you're definitely in the thick of that and when that tends to happen your entire life will kind of go through an overhaul so you may be feeling very indecisive right now because you're at the crossroads and you're needing to make a lot of really big life decisions um, as I always say, of course, the end of the year, we're getting closer to that new year. So you're most likely reflecting, going within, trying to figure out, you know, how you would like for things to be next year, moving forward. Um, this has a lot to do, though, with your teamwork. Don't be afraid to ask for help. But for some of you also, you need to really assess and evaluate who you have you know, in your environment, who are you teaming up with or collaborating with? There could be issues that you're paying closer attention to. For those of you who work jobs, of course, there could be different things that are coming up within the workplace that you're needing to pay closer attention to right now. I do feel that if you are worried about any type of situation, there is someone who will come to your aid. Um, you will receive the support that you need this time of year, of course. Um, what is it? 
performance reviews, you know, things like that are, are taking place and you may be faced with some difficult choices. Some of you may be in management roles and you may be faced with the choice right now to possibly lay people off or to terminate certain individuals. There could be um, different changes taking place in your workplace. Answers and poor health came. Okay. Some of you are working too hard. Okay. Yeah. Divine timing is here. So some of you may be working too hard right now to find certain answers. I want you to make sure that you are still, of course, prioritizing your overall mental health. Um, I don't want you to become addicted to anything that you're trying to research or learn to develop. Some of you are going to have to trust in divine timing. You're going to have to learn to let go of some of you you know, the control issues and just be patient. Some of you may be digging a little bit too deep or someone is digging too deeply into your life um, looking for answers. But I feel like also whatever there is uh, some type of confusion about in your life, there's a, a situation that you're finally going to have some type of closure about. There could be things resurfacing from your past that have just been like this unsolved case or mystery and you're finally going to get some type of truth or some type of clarity about it some of you if you've been waiting on like a job or an opportunity or some type of decision you could be running yourself crazy about this you are going to receive the answers that you are looking for and for many of you i do think that it's going to work in your favor but there's just something here that you're going to have to release control about because it has to happen in divine order and in divine timing okay behind the scenes there is a team of angels guys and ancestors that are helping you while you are at this this crossroads point in your life they're helping you to level up you know as far as in your material life and your spiritual life so just trust the process we have the justice card being here so something is being balanced out i did just see the four of swords yeah the four of swords and the um, hangman is here. So you're definitely going through some type of awakening here. Um, your perspective about a situation is changing. Again, focus on your mental health. Some of you seasonal depression is very real right now. You may be feeling very, very tired. Some of you, you're, you're wearing yourself out with trying to figure something out. Some of you could be studying for certain things, or like I said, of course, the end of the year, is coming and you know there's deadlines and different things that you f you may feel the need to take care of at this time but um try to just release be patient this temperance um energy is teaching us self-control moderation and patience the queen of cups is here okay so this is you needing to trust your intuition okay <laughs> wait a minute as a bunch of cards fell out i don't should i take all these I'm going to just take them. They came out for a reason. So the Queen of Wands came out with the Queen of Wands right next to it. Mm. Um, And here you have the Two of Swords with the Six of Wands. So when it comes to you being assertive, when it comes to um getting exactly what you want here, I feel like a lot of energies are, are, are coming towards you or you're needing to really make a decision here when it comes to being at a crossroads now if this isn't you this could be someone that you're dealing with who is trying to make a decision about you some of you are sort of in this shape-shifting energy though right now where the queen of cups is like you you may be shifting out of being more intuitive more creative more um the queen of cups to me is a sign that can some kind sometimes be a little bit dreamy and um more so introverted because you know they kind of like to be in their own world or if you think about scorpio energy they can be very mysterious at times you may now be needing to step into an energy of being more assertive when it comes to um manifesting things for yourself when especially with your overall success here it's like you've come out of a situation where um the six of wands comes after the five of wands so with the six of wands being here there is some type of battle or competition here okay um healthy competition there's nothing wrong with it i don't want to get into saying like oh there's jealousy and envy here that's not always the case but the, for some of you even in the workplace you know in order for you to have this victory this success and to receive rewards and recognition you may want to kind of come out of your head and your emotions and get more in this somewhat of like a um a masculine energy of course still being feminine but being more masculine as in being more assertive being very outgoing understanding that you have the power to really manifest and control um a lot of things in your life maybe not everything of course but you can actually make something happen here something can be a win-win for you but it's like you're really needing to 
put in the work right now to invest in yourself and your future and your overall financial stability when it comes to your assets, when it comes to home life, when it comes to your pentacles, these are things that you can actually see, touch and feel. So that's the reason why the queen of cups is here kind of shifting into this queen of wands energy. This is more than just what's in your mind and your heart and your emotions. You're needing to really kind of grind hard right now. It's like it's grind season for you. Okay. The seven of pentacles, something that you've been working really hard for, I do feel like it's going to manifest, but it's all in, um, the choice that you make and you're going to have to make the choice to go towards something with love in mind. You need to go about doing something that you are really passionate about. Okay. And you need to be willing to show your passion and yeah, this has this today, you guys, this has a lot to do with like the workplace teamwork collaboration. Okay. Um, I don't know if you're under some time hearing under review, if you're under some type of review, someone is watching you, you're going to have to show that you're passionate. And if this isn't that even spiritually, it's like your spirit guys, angels, ancestors, God is watching to see how bad do you want something? I just saw 11, 11 on the clock. So it's something that you're manifesting, but you are sort of being nudged right now to prove that you really want it to really take action to have it because there's a lot of really, really good energy here. The Ace of Cups, the Knight of Swords, but the Knight of Swords is here next to the Two of Swords. So this is saying that you do have to go ahead and, and make take action here. Now, there's a lot of feminine energy that I see here on the board, but again, it's like you're needing to balance your feminine and masculine energy. You're going to have to tap more into your masculine energy of being dominant and being assertive and taking action. This is not the time to just be in your head. You really have to take action. Um, it's like you have some type of goal, a blessing, a manifestation. It's contingent upon, here we have it. It's contingent upon you being creative. Are you utilizing the resources that you have? Are you really manifesting right now? You have everything that you need at this point for you to have wish fulfillment with the nine of cups here. But um, yeah, you cannot be stressed out. You can't be stressed out juggling and miss out on a magical opportunity. You're going to have to come out of this fear based type of mindset that has to close out. Some of you, you're still dealing with the situation that may have left you feeling a bit mentally depleted, exhausted, betrayed or whatever, but it's saying everything is fine. So if there is some type of ending that you may be facing or that you just came out of, it's time for you. You're going to have to pull yourself up by the bootstraps right now because you're trying to juggle life. You're trying to juggle life, career, finances, love, money. There's a lot of different things that you're finding. You're trying to like juggle. So at this time, just be mindful of what you're prioritizing because there is an offer, an opportunity that's being presented to you. But if you are not careful, if you are stuck thinking about the wrong thing, you could possibly miss this opportunity. So whatever you're stressed out about right now, it's like you're needing to release that. I mean, quick, fast and in a hurry, you're going to have to release it. There's something here that you could be worried about that may end or it has ended, whether it's a job or relationship or friendship or whatever. You're going to get some type of answers about whatever this is very soon. OK, make sure also you're not neglecting your health. Go to bed at night. OK, don't stay up all night. Go to bed, rest, retreat, rejuvenate. You need to be ready for when this offer comes in. Um, I just told myself a few days ago that I want to get in the habit of acting as if. So whatever you are trying to manifest, act as if. Act as if you have it already. You know, if you know that you want to start a job that's going to require you to change your wardrobe, start buying those clothes now. If you want to, I don't know, if, if you, whatever you want to do, just act as if, okay? So that you are ensuring that you're a vibrational match for whatever this is. I am getting though for somebody here, it's like there's some something about a review, a performance review or some type of documents or a situation or case is being reviewed. And, um, oh, wow. It's so funny. Here's the hermit card. Something is being reviewed here. The hermit, the wheel of fortune and the eight of cups, the devil, the 10 of wands. Whoa. And the five of swords, six of pentacles, six of cups. Okay. Something from the past. Okay. Some of you, this could even be a legal situation. It could be in the workplace. It could be a relationship. It could be anything. But you're going within about your decision possibly to walk away from a situation or 
your spirit guides, angels and ancestors, they are reviewing your decision to move away from something. And I feel like you're getting good karma for this. The six of cups is here. The six of pentacles, something from the past that was that left you feeling defeated is is being balanced out. OK, you may have been at the crossroads about something and you you had to make a decision. You had to make a decision um, and it may have been a very tough decision. Maybe at the time you felt like it was an unwise choice that you made to move ahead, but it was something that was necessary. You had to sacrifice something or you're needing to sacrifice something to drop a lot of burdens here. Something is toxic. Something this could be overworking, overeating, oversleeping. Um, it's something here is toxic that you had to take note of and, and stop doing. And I feel like you're going to be rewarded for walking away. Um, the wheel is turning. This is good karma coming to you. And I feel like your angels, your guys and ancestors, they're looking at something here that you sacrificed. And I feel like they're saying job, job well done. Job well done. Definitely. So something you just had to wait on divine timing for it to come in for you. I wonder what this is, though. It's like you, your potential has been noted by something or someone. It's like something is yours here. It just required hard work. Something has the potential to grow. Um, this could be, I'm really getting today business, finances. Um, it's a lot because the cards keep falling out like this. That only happens when there's like a lot going on. Two of Wands. Yeah, this is the decision to move forward into healing. Also into your life purpose. Yeah, because someone here is deciding to come towards you or there's an offer coming your way. So you can rest. Something is yours, but you just need to continue acting as if this this blessing, this opportunity, it's yours. Yeah, here's the Ace of Wands. Whatever this is, if you are wondering, if you are worried, it's yours. Yeah, it's yours. I mean, it, it's really, really simple. Like it's it's almost strange. You could be feeling like something is too good to be true, or you may be saying, you know, I'll believe it when I see it happen. Because it's so straightforward, but it seems like it's something that you've been waiting on and waiting on and waiting on. It's so straightforward, though. Now, you have a team of people who are coming to you with answers, with clarity. You're going to get closure. You're not going to have to stress out about this. You could be at a crossroads about this situation. It's something here that you can't control. And the best way for this to manifest for you is to simply act as if it's yours. Continue praying. Continue manifesting. Um continue working hard taking action and just trusting this is all about learning to to trust and to surrender this is all about faith i think yesterday um let me see yesterday when i was i was having a day yesterday um <laughs> and i just so happened to open my um bible app and it was hebrews 11 verse 1 and it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen and that was hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 so 11 1 1 1 1 new beginnings um this is what i saw at 5 a.m yesterday um so again, this is about faith. So crazy that that just like popped up for me. Yeah, you guys, I, I'm so I'm sorry. Like I, there's nothing more to dig into this. Um, I have a I have some more decks. Let's let's see something here. Something is yours, okay? I, maybe somebody is worried about you know is something going to work out? Yes. This could be a job. It, it's some type of opportunity that you're worried about. And it, it could be stressing you out. It's it's yours. Because it's it's here. It's like you're waiting on a call. You could be waiting on a call about moving in a different direction, waiting on a job or promotion. 
something waiting on a settlement you could be waiting on some money to come in or whatever it is something here that's like destined it's wish fulfillment it's going to put you right where you want to be it's coming into you and it's your karmic justice here and you're going to be able to rest you're going to be like wow like i can't i can't believe it the four of swords you're going to be like i can't i can't believe it again something here is very very shocking to you <laughs> so yeah accept heaven's help and worthiness know that you deserve to receive good in all ways you've prayed for help so get out of the way and let heaven help you wow i love when the messages just come together perfectly i have not used this deck in like a year this is a deck i used to always use in um private readings but we have here protection some of you if you are waiting to find out if you are pregnant or if everything is going okay um, if you're already with child, yes, you pray for this. It's going to come. If you're worried about um, a pregnancy or labor, delivery or whatever, I feel like, you know, you've prayed for something and it's coming. So some of you, you know, you're praying for, for a healing for like a family member, yourself. This could be pregnancy. It could just be healing for some any type of, you know, ailment, illness or disease. You just had to be patient. It's like this This was God ch testing to see how strong is your faith. Are you willing to get down in the trenches and really work and, and pray and manifest for whatever it is that you want? It was yours from the beginning. It was just a matter of will you, <laughs> will you work for it? Set your sights higher. So you need to increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Like I said before, act as if because the treasure chest is here and here is self-employment and time to move on. OK, so for some of you, it's time for you to leave a job and you could be wondering, like, how exactly are you going to make things happen? It's saying set your sights higher. If you're worried right now about starting a job, um, wondering, you know, should you apply for that higher level role? If you're wondering right now, um, is it safe for you to start a business? Yes because you have an unforeseen windfall of new abundance that's coming to you now so it's time for you to let go of the old so that something new can come in and this says you're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities and you'd have to know that you're worthy of this this is a blessed change okay you have a helpful person that's going to enter your life and bring you some type of offer or opportunity so it says that a major life change brings you great blessings. Someone wants to help you think of whom that might be and initiate contact. So for some of you, I mean, I don't, I don't know. This could be someone that you want to reach out to who can help you on a business partnership. Okay. If you're looking for work, you may think of a friend or a loved one, family member, someone that you used to work, you know, work with, you may reach out to that person and it's like, you're going to run into a particular person or there's a situation that's going to be offered to you it's going to pretty much supply you with everything that you need but it's right there under under your nose like the treasure chest is here that treasure chest is it's right there in your home it's it's within you you're the empress and the ace of cups i just noticed the empress the ace of cups for some of you who are worried about anything related to fertility you're good okay you may be um waiting on some type of scan or um, some type of results to come back, you're going to be fine. If you're waiting to find out um, if this is fertility treatments or something like that, you're good. You're good. This, this, this is just good. It's like, yeah, <laughs> stay optimistic and rest. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You've been working really hard and your dreams are coming true. Okay, so just don't quit. Continue being in that energetic vibration of, as you know, acting as if, like knowing this is yours. Claim it as yours. Claim this blessing. It's yours. So we have here, um, simplify your life. So this may, some of you may right now be trying to, you know, remove any type of clutter from your home. You could be detoxifying your body. Trying to balance home life, work life. Okay. It's like you're needing, we always say this, you're needing to make space. 
You have here past, present, and future, and perception. This is a shaman oracle deck. And ancient wisdom. And joy is here. So, yeah. This is so amazing to me because it's like you're receiving this spiritual upgrade. But again, it's like a spiritual and a material harvest are happening simultaneously. So, energetically you're having this upgrade you're tapping into some type of ancient wisdom here you're becoming awakened and aware i feel like not only are you realizing this but a lot of people around you are realizing this as well and you're starting to attract these like mind-blowing offers and opportunities like everything your perception now about your past present and future is going to shift dramatically because you're going to realize that like everything that you've been through where you are right now is setting you up for the future that you've always always wanted once again there was there was a, a huge huge emphasis here on you just really showing up it's like god was like i just need to see you sh you show up i just want to make sure that this is what you truly want and i feel that a lot of you have been doing the work like despite all of the hardship the problems the spiritual warfare and everything else you continuously show up and so there's a reward here. There's some type of recognition. It could be anything. Like I said, it could be a relationship, a new friendship. It could be um, you starting a business, a promotion. It could be a new home, a new car, uh, you know, the birth of a child or you getting, you know, pregnant. It could be just anything, but it's something life altering. It's something big. But it comes as a result of you making huge changes and even sacrifices in your own life. retirement okay okay so retirement and family changes came out and religion and spirituality keep the faith and take the step now seeking and finding beautiful so um this deck is the lifestyle oracle the butterfly i think it's the butterfly lifestyle oracle or something like that butterfly oracles i'm sorry you guys <laughs> I don't have like the boxes or the books to these, but I'm almost sure it's the butterfly oracle deck for life changes or lifestyle or something like that. These are, y'all, I'm getting throwback cards. Like I know so many of you are sending me new cards, but I just kind of go with whatever spirit leads me to. And these are cards that um, I use like when I first started my channel like three years ago. And I feel like maybe that's another message for some of you, something from maybe like, a few years ago is coming back something that you wanted to start a few years ago that you couldn't start because you were at a crossroads then maybe you were afraid it just wasn't divine timing it's coming back so this could be a job you wanting to you know go ahead and launch that business starting a relationship you deciding to travel or something it's something about your journey from the past that's coming back you weren't ready for it when it was presented to you the first time but you're ready for it now so you're needing to believe in your own magic and like i said continue to just act as if so retirement is here so if retirement is here for some of you this does have a lot to do with your job this has something to do with you possibly leaving a job if you think about someone that's retiring that's when a person is like hey i put i pay my dues and i'm about to enjoy my life you know um some of you like your parents could be retiring from a job or something like that and i don't know if you're becoming um I don't want to say, I don't think that this has anything to do with like being a caretaker, but there could be something changing in your family dynamic, especially if you like have a parent or someone who's choosing to retire, or this could be you. Um, some of you, what I'm getting is your parent may be deciding to retire, or this could be an in-law, whomever. This may lead to you guys making some changes, like with how you manage things in the household with the kids, or you may be deciding to start a business or something like that retirement it doesn't have to be necessarily someone much older but some of you you could be 20 years 30 years old deciding to retire it's just now you're going to start making the best of your time some of you want to focus more on making changes in your family and so you're choosing maybe to to step away from a job or you're wanting to take a vacation it's just like this energy of you wanting to finally do something that you have always wanted to do okay um family changes is here so with family changes of course that can be anything like I said, um, the Empress and the Ace of Cups is here. So for some of you, you could be welcoming a child. There could be a blending of families here. Um, but there's definitely some type of change or an announcement. Someone here could be adopting a child. 
Um, someone could be choosing now to go through fertility treatments or something like that with family changes. Some of you, you could have a, a parental figure that's moving in with you or moving out. It could be so many different things. This also could be, um, getting into like a, a, a serious commitment, a marriage, or even going through like a divorce. There's just something major that's happening here. There's like endings and new beginnings. And then with religion and spirituality, it's interesting because I've mentioned that Bible verse earlier. Some of you right now, um, again, as you are ascending, you are perhaps balancing your religion and your spirituality. You may be kind of leaving one to, to go more into the other. Some of you, you're becoming less religious and, and becoming more spiritual. Some of you who have been very spiritual, maybe you are turning to do something even within your spiritual practices religiously. Okay. Um, with family changes here and religion and spirituality, some of you, you could be getting into, like I said, a serious relationship especially with family changes being here, you could be taking the next step to move in with someone. I'm definitely seeing like a blended family here. Someone could have like a a parental figure that's moving in with them to help with kids because that person has retired. It could be so many different things, but whatever these changes are, they are blessed changes. Okay. Some of you could be converting to a new religion. You could be dating someone who has a different religious ba background or again, like I said at the very beginning, you may just be studying religion or spirituality more than ever before. And maybe you're doing this because you just have more free time now. Maybe you've left a job, you know, you could have even been fired or laid off. And now you're really diving deep into your, your spirituality, your, like, yeah, your faith overall. And as a result of that, that's helping you to make changes within your family. So, of course, we just have keep the faith here, take the step now and seeking and finding. So something here, you don't need to delay on it. You need to go ahead and do it now. Have faith that it's going to work out. Like I said, act as if it's going to work out. So go ahead and take that next step now. OK. You're going to have to take a leap of faith. Seeking and finding earlier, I was saying research and development. So make sure that you're writing down your goals, making sure that, you know, you know what you need to focus on. Don't waste time. Don't get stuck in analysis paralysis here where you're driving yourself crazy. Find the, the teamwork or whatever collaborations that you need. Do the research, find what you need to get the answers that you need. For some of you, you need funding for something, whatever it is, though. If you, if you look for it, you're going to find it something here again, research and development. That's, I just kept hearing that research and development, you will find something. Okay. And some of you, you are going to connect with someone from the past. This could be a friend or old business partner or something. The two of you may come together and be like, Hey, remember when we had that idea and it's like now perfect time. And maybe one of you were working in the past, so you couldn't do something, um, Something here, it just seems, and this has been the energy the last few days, like very serendipitous, like something, it just didn't work out, but it's setting you up for the perfect opportunity. So this could be, you know, you get fired or laid off from your job and then all of a sudden you start a business that's going to be a multi-million dollar business in a few years, or, you know, you leave a relationship and you find the love of your life. You know, it's, Something here you're going to look at and say, wow, all of that chaos and conflict, it was worth it because it, le it led you to these really big, happy changes in your life. So don't fight against changes right now. Don't be afraid to take a leap of faith. There's a huge, huge opportunity here for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Serendipity. Did I not just say that? I just said that oh my god and a leg up this reading is so on point today you're receiving a leg up so again it's saying come to the edge higher power building blocks my gosh that's everything that we've said higher power you're tapping more into like your your faith your spirituality you're coming out you're coming to the edge you're not afraid now to take a leap of faith some of you you're learning more about the law of attraction and manifestation you could have been around a lot of people who are very religious who you know have tried to talk you out of 
looking into things, you know, in the metaphysical world, some of you, maybe you just recently started going to like the metaphysical store or something like that. You're being given a leg up to help you in your journey. This You're getting a leg up in your spiritual journey as well as in your life. So your finances, everything is, is all upgrading. Everything is all, is all coming together perfectly. And I feel like maybe you've been in this never ending story type situation here and there's this regeneration. You're finally like you're healing, you're healing, you're manifesting, you're at peace. You're seeing things differently and it's putting you on a perfect path to wish fulfillment and happiness for yourself. No place like home. Yeah. You're making your way back home. You're going back home to yourself. Some of you, you're reconnecting with someone who feels like home. You could be getting a new home, changing, you know, your residence, your location, changing jobs. Yeah, a change in the wind is coming and a new life. Wow. And then Yang is here. And whatever this is, is coming in for you. It's going to go the distance. OK, once again, it was it wasn't a race. It was always a marathon. It wasn't meant for you to get here at any time before this time. And that's the reason why the whole past, present, and future is here. Perception. People always tend to say, oh, you know, I wish I would have done this sooner. No, had you changed anything else, you would not have made it here. Some of you, you have a really, really amazing person that's going to enter your life. Had you not had those other relationships, you would not have made it to this person. Or they wouldn't have made it to you. You wouldn't have the level of appreciation that you have for this person, place, this thing, or whatever this situation is that's coming in your life. And it is something that's going to for sure go the distance. And also, when if you look at this here, I mean, crossing the finish line, you've made it through some type of spiritual initiation. You've won something here. So you get to cross. You get to be rewarded. You get to be crowned. You're recognized. This is really good. Like, the energy of the last few days has been kind of wonky. But as long as you keep your your mind set on the fact that you know that there is something good, you don't really have anything to worry about. Just try not to focus on the negative. Continue acting as if. Act as if you are completely in your own power. You know that there is increases coming. You know that there's blessings and abundance coming your way. That's all you need to focus on. This is a this is all about that temperance energy of you understanding how to be like we said, in your emotions, temperance energy is water and fire. Do you know how to be intuitive and, and be action oriented as well? Being feminine and being masculine. You have to be introverted and extroverted. OK, I'm hearing cross functional teams for some of you. You know, you have to learn how to code switch. You have to learn how to shape shift. It's okay for you to be sweet as pie, but sometimes you need to be cold as ice. You need to be fiery, hot, passionate. You're you're learning this. And I feel like this learning this type of duality and how to manage it is really going to assist you in all areas of your life. So for some of you, this is you embracing the duality. You can go and say, hey, I'm I'm Christian, I'm Catholic or whatever, but I read tarot too. I'm religious and I'm spiritual. You know, I'm introverted and I'm extroverted. I'm a family person and I'm all about my business. Like you're no longer putting yourself in a box because putting yourself in a box is the reason why you've been at a crossroads, always looking for answers. The answer is that for many of you, you're embracing the fact that you're multifaceted. And you had to go through several different things for you to come to the realization that you're meant to stand out. Yeah, it's like the, the dots are connecting. It says here, view from above, get the big picture and then journey by moonlight. Believe in magic. Opening to your spiritual source. I told you finding sanctuary. You're finding home within yourself. And just remember all is possible. Choosing your path. Wow. This is so good. I'm so happy. Gates of triumph. Success expands in your life. And clear the air. Distant thunder. Yeah. See, in, in the background, there are endings. You can hear that thunder. But it's at a distance now. It's at a distance. 
focus on the success, the growth and the expansion in your life. Don't worry about what you don't worry about the bombs that you hear dropping behind you. Just be like, uh, uh, you already went the distance. You already won your, your, your battle. The war is over. Yours is anyway. Yeah. Clear the past and heal the present and just simplify your life. You really do need to simplify your life because you have all these new things coming in that are bringing about a lot of abundance. Um, any final messages at the bottom of this deck is joy. Okay. You're getting back to joy or you're finding joy for the first time. Ace of swords. Y'all, I cannot make this up. Look, Scorpio Sagittarius season has brought the breakthrough that you needed. You have death, transformation, rebirth. Sagittarius, the peace, the balance, and the harmony is being um, restored in your life. And then the Ace of Swords, the truth. You get the clarity. You get the answers. You don't have to keep being stuck at a crossroads here, driving yourself insane. You're going to know exactly where you need to move and what you need to do. You're going to, everything is going to become crystal clear. Yeah. The King of Swords is here. This is being very decisive, being fair and just. Also, for some of you, if there has been some type of um, situation that has happened towards you, someone has seen it and they're going to make sure that you have justice. Whether this is in friend, friendship, relationships, workplace, there's a, a fair and just person that's going to be able to stand in the gap for you or step in on your behalf to ensure that you actually have a favorable outcome and a situation here because you deserve this passion and new beginning because you fought a really good and long battle. Again, your ancestors and angels, your guys, someone is stepping in, making sure that you're able to cross whatever bridge you need to cross. Even when you thought that the bridge for some of you, you burned a bridge. Someone tried to burn your bridge going into your new opportunity, but it's like someone is sending a boat for you. So don't worry about it. Oh my God. That that's it right there. That's it. Oh, I felt it. Like, Oh, I just got chills all over it. That's what it is. And I just talked about that yesterday in the reading, a retaliation plan backfiring. Somebody tried, you burned a bridge with someone that you knew was trying to go against you, whether it was a friend, family member, lover, stranger, whomever. That, that battle that you had to face, it made you a lot stronger. You're working with your spiritual team now. Some of you have, because of the warfare, it has made you connect with your with your higher self and your spirit guides, angels and ancestors, God is coming in now to show you why it's so important for you to stand 10 toes down and always just be steadfast. Don't be weak, worried, weary, tired or anything. And even when you do feel that, that the fact that you continue to press on, you have angelic guidance, you have your ancestors, you have people here in the 3D, friends, family. You have people who are covering you in prayer and they're coming in to make sure that you actually have this passion and new start. But I'm telling you, somebody, they took a knife, they took this sword and they tried to cut the bridge that they knew you were going to walk across. Someone did that for sure. And this death happened. There was an ending here that happened. Something backfired, you guys. And whatever this is, is really big. Something backfired. Someone I feel really thought that they had ended something for you. This breakthrough in your life for this passion and new beginning. And it didn't. You had an angel in the background that came in and said, no, no, no. I saw, I saw you take that sword to cut this person's um, pathway. I saw you cut the rope to that bridge across. I saw you do it. And it's come. Somebody's coming in and saying, that's okay. <laughs> because you're still going to get this. And in fact, it's going to be better. Because you're being rewarded for being so strong. You're being rewarded for not losing hope or faith. Serendipity. Everything happens for a reason. What somebody thought that they were doing to hurt you, it actually helped you. Because it completely backfired. You completely transmuted this energy. 
Like you're, you really need to thank God, the, your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, because it looks like they're stepping in in a major way for you. I have this little angel deck that was sitting over to the side, y'all. I'm, I'm just trying to use some of these decks. I know many of you are sending me decks. I want to make sure that I'm using decks. Um, so maybe every other day I'm going to start using, especially these oracle decks. We, I have plenty of tarot decks, but I'm going to start utilizing more of the oracle decks because I really do appreciate you guys sending me decks. And I, I've bought probably that I spent thousands of dollars on tarot decks myself and they look really pretty just sitting on my shelf but I need to start using them I'm being urged <laughs> by spirit to do that there's a lot of messages in these oracles that we probably need to hear so let's find out about this angelic guidance and I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the reading whoa okay the chariot <laughs> So this angel's name is Michael. Perseverance, success in conflict, and overcoming adversity. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. And three of pentacles. Okay. Mental force protects against sorrows and illness. This is mental health. Someone was trying to play on your psyche. Someone wanted to break you down mentally. Okay, and I think I just said that when a person, once they can seduce your mind, they're able to control your body. Someone was trying to block your forward movement by playing a lot of games with you mentally. Someone could have been doing like some type of chaos magic or something like that. I do feel like some type of spell work was done because something that was done to try and sabotage you, it was hidden. But it was affecting you. But these angels were coming in saying no. They're protecting you against sorrow and illness. So for many of you every day, you may find feel like you're battling with yourself. Like, am I up? Am I down? Am I happy? Am I sad? It's because someone is in the background and they're trying to control your mindset and your moods. These angels are stepping in, making sure that you are keeping your eye on the prize. And what they're forcing you to do now is to sort of temper yourself and embrace this duality. It's okay if you're light and dark. It's okay if you're up and down. It's okay if you want to focus on several things at once. They're just ensuring that you get to where it is that you're supposed to be going. Despite the fact that you have these situations in the background, these different forces that are coming against you. Listen to this. We have the Knight of Swords. It says intellectual richness. Protects fertility of women, makes children respectful toward their parents. So for some of you, you know, your healing situations, three of pentacles, we talked about that before. The family changes, retirement. Some of you now, you may have an opportunity to have a closer relationship with a loved one um, or someone in your family. I also talked about the empress and I don't know why fertility, children and adoption was coming up. But this angel here, the, all of these cards and messages is pretty much confirming everything that I've said. I love when that happens. The Empress and the Ace of Cups. Okay. This says protects fertility of women. Some of you people have been doing fertility magic, womb magic on you. You're protected. And if you're saying, well, I'm not looking for a baby. If your baby, it could be a business. Whatever it is that you are utilizing your feminine energy to manifest, someone was trying to take that from you. And it's all coming back to you tenfold. The Nine of Pentacles is here. Yeah, it says identifies traitors and destroys their plans. And, you know, the nine of pentacles is all about, of course, your security, your stability, you being self-sufficient, abundant, you know, enjoying the fruits of your labor. Somebody did not want you to enjoy the fruits of your labor, whatever you've been working so hard to receive as far as your rewards and recognition, your angel guides and ancestors, they're coming in to make sure that you move forward and you get to have whatever is yours. Three of swords, it says love and submission cures illness. And we just talked about that. Here's the poor health card. These cards are just coming in, confirming everything. If if there has been spell work, if there has been ma manipulation, if you felt depressed, if you've been sick, if you've been waiting on some type of scans or, or whatever to come in concerning your health, you're going to be healed. Okay. I, I, I have to be honest with what I'm getting here. 
this is all so beautiful, but you guys, there are some people who've been in the background who have been trying to hit you in every, every area of their, of your life that they could, your, your love life, your finances, your friends, your family, your health, even like you, you'll be surprised um, with the moon card being here, how much has happened behind the scenes, but here the moon, and this is Gabriel. It says, God is my strength. Divine revelation reveals messages has the power to destroy. What do we have here? The answers card. Y'all, this, you have to watch this reading and share because there are so many confirmations here. This is saying here with the moon and the answers card, whatever was done in the dark, you're going to find out about it. You're going to know clearly. You're going to know exactly who's been working against you and what was done. And they're eventually, they're going to know who you are because of these huge, huge blessings that are coming your way. They're going to know, like everybody's going to know because you're going to be so, so happy here. So happy. And there's nothing that anybody can do to stop this. Nothing. And, and trust me, they try to do everything to stop it. Try to do everything. I'm talking fertility magic womb magic mind control spells domination spells come to me spell they've tried to do breakup spells for those of you who are going into relationships they've sent chaos and conflict to your home trying to perhaps sabotage your relationships with your friends and your family somebody has been in the background or this has to be a group or several people that have been spiritually bullying people and trying to destroy your life. But I'm telling you, like we just saw, whatever they tried to end, somebody thought that their sword was big enough to end you. They had no idea that this temperance angel was going to come in and cut these people down. And you have to know that if someone has done this much to you to try and attack you in your life, now that you are coming to the edge and you are tapped in, you have to know that this is going to backfire in the worst way. Whoever has been doing this against you, their karma, they they could never be prepared for this type of karma. And there is no way, there is absolutely no way that they can outrun this karma at all. They can't. There's no way. Somebody here has done everything. I mean, they have thrown the kitchen sink at you. Somebody here has been sleeping in the graveyard trying to do magic to you. They have just about went broke doing everything that they could and none of it has worked so you earned your stripes you're getting blessed and somebody here let's find out what's going to happen to these people oh. <clears throat> coffin spirit is here today and you're going to receive unexpected income oh Oh, we, mm. I'm a speechless. <laughs> I just got a, um, a notification. So I'm just, wow. Y'all, I asked what's going on <laughs> An ending for them. Death. These people have sent death, disease, destruction, and disharmony to you. Mm, mm, mm. And it's all going back to them and you're going to receive unexpected income. Wow. Wow. A wealthy man. Ooh. Official person is here and child. You are the child of a very official person. God is official. You are you are a child of God, okay? Wealthy man. <laughs> You're going to, some of you are going to, like I said, there's going to be a helping hand that comes in for some of you. Some of you, you're going to meet someone that you may go into a courtship with. This person could be wealthy. It, that could change your life. You know, some people you, you get wealth in many different ways. It could be because you're starting a business. Um, there could be a wealthy person here who has a business that wants to partner with you. This could be you going into a um, romantic partnership with someone. despair wow uh oh now hold on there could be a wealthy man out here who has been doing all of this to you they're gonna be in despair 
This person is going to lose everything. This could have been someone that you were married to or someone who wanted a serious or that you had a serious relationship with at some point or that you considered yourself spiritually married to. This person, if this person has been behind the scenes trying to cause death, disease, destruction, and disharmony in your life, this person is going to be in despair. That's it. Somebody here who thought that they had plenty of power and control and influence in your life who has spiritually bullied you. This person was wishing ill on you, a lot of it. They wanted you to have death, disease, destruction, and disharmony. This person is going to be left in despair and they could face death. That's the truth. Death could be physical. Yeah, they gonna go to jail or hell for what they did. This is what they can look forward to in the distant horizons. Mm -hmm. Because they tried to steal from you. And this is someone, like I said, courtship. This is someone that you could have been in a relationship with. This person was sitting up plotting on you. Plotting on you, like doing work on you. Oh my gosh. I mean, working hard too. The cards don't lie. Whatever somebody stole from you. It's coming back to you tenfold. But this is someone that for many of you, you were dating this person. You love this person. You could have been married to this person. This person could be in a, in a relationship with someone else, but they were thinking about you. And I feel like this person started to do a lot of very, very, a lot, a lot of work. And this is, this person could be wealthy. So I wouldn't be surprised how much they've invested in trying to ruin you. But guess what? Your, what is expectation? The privileged lady and high honor. You will become a lady of, of high honor or man. And you will be very privileged because everything that this person tried to take from you, you're getting that back tenfold and more. And they're going to lose everything. The tables here are going to completely turn. This person will be in bad health. And you will have a new beginning with an official person as an official person. There you have it. You guys, you have nothing to worry about. You may definitely be feeling at a crossroads right now. I know this temperance energy, you're up and down, okay? You're, you're in and out. You got one foot in, one foot out. But just know something here is going to bring you a lot of happiness. This unfinished symphony with this wealthy person here or this really controlling person, that was not your fortune. That was not your portion that was not for you. You have something that's for you that's here and now or it's on its way. You don't have to look back because somebody in the past wanted you to be stuck at a crossroads with a fork in the road and orphaned. Somebody really, really did the absolute most and they worked with a group, a cult, a secret society or someone else, a family to try and completely just destroy your life. Death, disease, disharmony, destruction, I mean, like these people, they threw the whole kitchen sink at you with this kitchen magic or what this, this wasn't kitchen. This was high level magic though. For those of you, if that resonates with you, this was high, high level. I mean, these people pay high dollar to try and knock you down in life and you're about to get answers for it. And the, this, the answers that you're going to receive is going to send somebody to jail and somebody to hell because it is more than one person involved. This wealthy man, whoever he, he had help. He had help. You will be receiving some type of unexpected income. I can't tell you where it's coming from, but I it's like. <sighs> wow. Somebody thought that they were God. <laughs> you're an angel and you have angels that you're an earth angel and the angels above. They work for you. They protect you. They're always going to wrap you up in their wings and cover you. God is going to guide you, guard you, and protect you at all costs. Somebody, honestly, they, they must not have known that. Or they knew it, and they, they thought that it was okay for them to test test those theories. Mm. Yeah. You may think you're experiencing delays right now, but all of your hard work is paying off. Whatever you've been working on, that pentacle is going to land right in your lap. Everything is fine. The Ten of Swords is here. The deception, the betrayal, it doesn't matter because whoever this person is who was doing work in the dark, everything is about to be exposed and you're going to be freed from this for good because somebody is taking a, <clears throat> let me not be, I mean, somebody's going to jail 
possibly hell. <laughs> and you will be free. No more drama. And the emperor and the high priestess, for those of you who are interested in a relationship, there will be a beautiful divine connection between you and someone that's worthy of you. So just stay optimistic. Continue to be focused. Judgment day is here. And what is it for you? Yes, moving forward towards happiness, stability, security, legacy, a windfall of abundance. Karmic justice is served. Yeah, somebody is going to get locked up for trying to break your heart and cause confusion. These are people who have paid people high dollar amounts of money across across the seas across the world in other like they've done the absolute most to try and block you also that they could block you from having love they didn't want you to have love they didn't want you to have um an opportunity to have successful good-hearted people around you where you could have good business partnerships or relationships they wanted to cause disharmony in your friendships even disharmony with people in your family. Somebody wanted you completely isolated. Somebody wanted you to completely just lose your mind. Is what they wanted. Maybe because somebody was coming towards you or because they saw you being very optimistic about going after the life that you wanted for yourself. Wow. This storyline, it keeps coming out. So it lets me know that a lot of people are going through this. But one thing about it, each and every day or every time that this story comes out, we get more and more pieces of it. Oh, man, my ear just started ringing like crazy. <sighs> we get more and more pieces of it. And this is coming to an end. And for you, everything will be fine. Wow. Um, I'm going to leave it here, you guys. What I just saw, though, some of these people, the things that they have coming towards them. Man, it's bad. You'll be able to stand tall, shoulders back, head held high. Don't worry about it. It's not your concern. You weren't their concern. Their only concern for you was to bring death, destruction, disharmony and disease. That's what they wanted. And so now that's what they'll have for themselves. Everything in this reading was confirmed. It's a very, very powerful, strong message. So please be sure to let me know in the comments how this resonated with you. Claim this very positive um, energy. Stay strong. You guys always go within so that you never go without. Also, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um... I love you all very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.